Good day, friends and colleagues. The International Relations Unit of the OECS Commission extends a warm welcome to all of you, and particularly nationals of St. Lucia, to the virtual flag raising ceremony to commemorate the 42nd anniversary of independence of St. Lucia. Celebrating under the theme, A Resilient Nation, We Can, We Will. This theme speaks to the strength, determination, and unity of a nation in the fight against the COVID-19 pandemic. Today, we acknowledge and celebrate 42 years of progress and unity and to extend to the government and people of St. Lucia our warmest congratulations and very best wishes for continued good health, peace, progress, and stability. We will now move directly into the program and so I invite you to view the raising of the flag of St. Lucia by the St. Lucia Cadet Corps. At this time, we welcome Ms. Jayla Sinclair, student of the Camille Henry Memorial School, to recite the National Pledge of St. Lucia. With God as my guide, I pledge allegiance to my country, St. Lucia. I proclaim that I will serve my country with pride and dignity and will defend it with vigor and valor in the pursuit of excellence, justice, and equality for all. Thank you, Ms. Sinclair. Friends and colleagues, we now welcome Monsignor Michel Francis to deliver the prayer of the nation for St. Lucia. Blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord. Eternal God, on this observance of the 42nd anniversary of the independence of St. Lucia, we ask you to stir the minds and stimulate the hearts of our people with a high sense of patriotism. Almighty God, giver of all good gifts, we thank you for this nation, its heritage, its religious faith, for the natural majesty and beauty of our land, for the greatest resource of our nation, our people, for the love that we have for each other, family and friends. Dear Father, grant that this day be the beginning of an era when good shall live in the hearts of our people, justice be the light to guide their feet, and peace be the goal of us all. Heal those who are sick with the coronavirus. Be with the doctors, nurses, and all medical professionals who seek to help those affected and who put themselves at risk in the process. In your infinite wisdom, protect our country, St. Lucia, and grant us a year full of your abundant graces. Amen. Happy anniversary, and may the good Lord bless our island. Thank you, Monsignor Michel Francis, for these words of inspiration. We now welcome Mr. Nias Alfred, President of the St. Lucia National Youth Council and the Youth Officer at the OECS Commission to deliver brief remarks. Bonjour toutes ces Lucien, espresso jeunesse. Hello to all St. Lucians, especially our youth. During these unprecedented times, when large parts of our nation have been crippled by the effects of the COVID-19 pandemic, we pause to celebrate the 42nd independence anniversary of our great nation. The celebration this year, however, is unlike anything we've had in the past, but the theme puts it aptly we are celebrating the resilience of our nation, affirming that we can and we will get through this together. Over the past 42 years, St. Lucia has had to endure many challenges, which is why we are certain that through the efforts and commitment of our people, through their braveness in the face of adversity, and through their unrelenting drive to do better, 
a new day is on the horizon. As we celebrate our 42nd anniversary, I ask that we take some time to appreciate and celebrate the many accomplishments of our young people in particular, who have somehow tapped into their creative psyches to convert pain and frustration into hope and purpose. Our young people have been at the forefront of the renewed thrust in entrepreneurship, creating innovative businesses to meet the demands of our battered economy. They have been advocates, visionaries, and their humanity has shone through, risking their lives to be part and to support those more severely stricken by the COVID-19 pandemic. This was on full display during the Christmas season when youth organizations and young people across St. Lucia, whether individually or collectively, distributed over 500 food hampers to those families most in need. So when young people, through the power of technology and media, advocate for greater equity in the era of virtual learning, environmental justice for climate action, and economic justice through an economy that is supposed to be reflective of their ideals and inputs, this gives us joy that, and renewed hope that our future is in great hands. Now more than ever, the words of Franklin D. Roosevelt is fitting when he said, we cannot always build the future for our youth, but we can build our youth for the future. So as we celebrate this 42nd anniversary milestone, there must be a concerted effort to build and tap into the skills and talents of our youth as agents of change and national transformation. This resilience that we have built against all odds must be sustained, and our youth are purposefully placed to ensure that this resilience transforms into progress. A resilient nation, we can and we will. Happy Independence, St. Lucia. Let us keep moving forward. Thank you, Mr. Alfred, for your profound contribution. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, I invite you to view the address from the Director General of the OECS, Dr. Didicus Jules. Happy 42nd Independence Anniversary to the Government and People of St. Lucia. In this relatively short road of history, we have never faced such immense challenge as the crisis of life and livelihood as that which currently confronts us. There is no textbook solution to guide us. There is no template to follow. There is no magic wand we can wave to wish this away. In every such moment of insurmountable crisis, whether in the life of an individual or in the life history of a nation, one is faced with two choices, surrender to hopelessness or fight with courage. The consequences of the choices that we make in such situations are not ours alone to face, because the options available to our children and their future generations will be limited or expanded by these choices. This 42nd anniversary coming at this moment of extraordinary challenge is an opportunity for us to renew our resolve to become resilient. In this we have no options except whether to be victims or victors. Let us choose to be a resilient nation. We can, we will, and we must. Happy Independence, St. Lucia. Welcome to the Commission of the Organization of Eastern Caribbean States. Located in Castries, St. Lucia, the OECS Commission is led by a Director General and one Commissioner from each OECS member country. As the guardian of the revised Treaty of Bastère, the Commission serves as the executive organ of the organization. The Commission is actively leading the execution of several projects and initiatives. To advance, support and accelerate regional trade, economic and social integration. To mainstream climate, economic, environmental and social resilience. And to promote equity and social inclusion. We delivered free movement and indefinite stay for all citizens across OECS Protocol Member States. We continue to deliver safe and cost-effective medicines. We deliver training, technical support, goods, and financing for advancements in education, agriculture, health, local business development, trade, social development, and environmental sustainability. 
The OECS Commission continues to create opportunities and partnerships to deliver results. Because we care about our region and our people. At this time, I invite you to view and listen to an address by the Prime Minister of St. Lucia, the Honorable Alan Chastney, on the occasion of the 42nd anniversary of independence of St. Lucia. In 1979, St. Lucia entered the realism of self-governance and began to build our own identity as a people. Our independence heralded our freedom from British rule as a small island state. We faced social and economic challenges, characterized by scarcity of resources and by inherent vulnerability. Thankfully, we in the Caribbean, especially within the OECS, have had to become the most resilient people in the world. Hurricanes, tropical storms, earthquakes, as well as the negative shocks from global economic cycles are not new to us. Most recently, the COVID-19 pandemic has presented an unprecedented disaster and forced St. Lucians to rely on a communal principle that every single individual must play their part. We as a people know hardship. We know strain. However, as we have done before, we must face these challenges together, united. A testament to the strength and the tenacity of the St. Lucian identity and culture. Our CARICOM and OECS institutions have played a significant role in stabilizing our new normal by continuing to fulfill their mandates in the face of crisis, uncertainty, and disruption. Amidst global challenges, we boldly celebrate this, our 42nd independence anniversary. We toast the devotion, the determination, and the dexterity of St. Lucian people. We have progressed and distinguished ourselves across industries and sectors, as statesmen and luminaries in our fields. Nationally, we've made strides in education, healthcare, agriculture, infrastructure, and tourism. And we are poised to continuing developing a culture of excellence. As a young nation, we must continually harness the skills and identify the potential of our people in order to remain open and able to grasp opportunities. We must remain focused and present embracing the hope that connects us. In 42 years, we've accomplished so much. Moving forward, there is no limit to what we can achieve. We are a resilient nation. We can, we will. Ladies and gentlemen, friends and colleagues, nationals of St. Lucia, we have come to the end of this short virtual ceremony. I want again to extend the Commission's very best wishes to the government and people of St. Lucia on the 42nd anniversary of independence and to personally wish all of you a productive day. Please continue to adhere to the COVID-19 protocols and stay safe. I thank you.